welcome back to Heart with Creations. This episode is very special to me because I have partnered up with Inspire91. They are a CBD company and I got sent a couple of products that I have been trying for the past couple of days and I have really been liking. Um, I have tried CBD products in the past, but the difference with these is that they actually taste really good. Um, I know there are different types of CBDs. I'm familiar with the uh, CBD isolate and the CBD um, full broad spectrum, <laughs> um, or full spectrum, full broad spectrum, yeah, full spectrum. And um, the difference is that the CBD isolate is more of just the CBD effect, which is not that psychoactive effect. The CBD, the broad spectrum, um, does sometimes contain like a little, little small amount of THC. So that does kind of, you know, give it a little bit of that high effect. Um, I personally like the one, but there is always a time and place. So this one is really good for just like an everyday use. They sent me over the apple rings and the tincture. Um, the tincture is personally my favorite because sometimes I don't feel like having candy like in the mornings when I wake up. Um, I'll just put a couple of drops of these underneath my tongue and then you wait about 10-15 seconds and then you can go ahead and swallow it. Um, and the effect kicks in pretty quickly. Um, again, it's not going to make you feel high or anything. The, this one is just strictly like going to um, help with anti-inflammatory, pain relief, and anxiety. So I take those in the mornings and they, the, again, like they kick in pretty quickly and I really have been enjoying them. Um, they don't make you feel high. They um, just give you a nice calm effect, especially during these times, they have really, really helped me. Um, and yeah, I also like the rings. They taste really, really good. So I'll usually do these like more later on in the day. Um, I actually introduced them to my dad and he really likes them. Um, these are a little more of a low dose. So if you're new to CBD, I would definitely recommend um, trying these out first. Um, but yeah, I've really been enjoying them. I also now have my own coupon code um, and that is heartwork10 So if you are interested in trying them, I will definitely link their um, profile and website down below so you can check them out and Try them and get 10% off with my coupon code So I went ahead and created this look inspired by their logo, which is a birds of paradise flower so if you want to see me put this look together, then keep watching. So my eyes are primed and ready to go. So I'm just going to go in with the shade Brulee by MAC. And I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow bone and all over my eyelid. For my transition color, I'm going to use the shade Soft Brown by MAC. And I'm just going to buff that out. Next, with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to apply the shade Saddle, also by MAC, right on the outer corner just to add a little more definition and depth. Next, for underneath my eyes, I'm going to apply the white eyeshadow base by NYX with a small lip brush, and I'm just going to apply that right on my waterline and underneath my lashes so that the eyeshadows can really pop. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply a lime green shade by MAC with a Morphe pencil brush and just apply that right on top of the cream eyeshadow base, so right on the waterline and underneath my lashes. I'm not sure what the um, color is called, but I'll go ahead and list it down below when I find it. And I'm mostly just packing it on and slightly blending so that the pigment payoff is really bright. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use the Wolf Water Activated Paints, and this is the orange shade. And what I like to do is just take some MAC Fix Plus and spray a little bit onto the paint and then swirl my eyeliner brush on it to activate the color. And you just want to use a little small amount of the Fix Plus so that it's not too liquidy and runny. And then I just start by drawing my line from the center of my eye out towards the ending of my brow but not connecting it 
and then I just draw another little line to connect to that line from the ending of my eye and then just fill in that negative space and it's just up to you how long and dramatic you want to make it if you've been watching my videos for a while you know I like my wings dramatic and long <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep that wing towards the outer part of my eye if you'd like you can go all the way to the center as well and then I just draw on my other wing as even as possible on my other eye set my eyeliner I'm gonna apply a light layer of orange eyeshadow by Mac with a small eyeshadow brush and just lightly tap it on to the eyeliner to just dry it and keep it from creasing up or transferring onto my eyelid and then underneath next to the green I'm gonna apply some of this liquid lipstick by Kat Von D in the shade echo and I'm gonna take my eyeliner brush and just apply another line right underneath that orange wing just to add some more color I really like using liquid lipsticks as eyeliners because they stay on really well and are really easy to use. And to set that, I'm going to apply some blue eyeshadow from MAC with the same small eyeshadow brush and just lightly pack it on. And then I'm going to take a really small blending brush and just blow that out with a little more blue eyeshadow just to give it a more soft, diffused look. Next, I'll apply some mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara, and I'm just gonna apply a really light coat to my top and bottom lashes. And for my false lashes, I'm gonna go with Lorella Cosmetics lashes in the style Rome. These have been my go-to. Um, I really, really like this style of lash. If you haven't tried their lashes, I definitely recommend them. They are very pretty. Um, they're more on the bold side, but they are very comfortable. Now to complete my look, I'm going to apply some lip liner by MAC in the shade Strip Down. And I'm just going to lightly define my lips, giving them a little bit of an overline. And then just color them in to act as a base for my liquid lipstick. top that with some liquid lipstick by morphe in the shade true story i really like the formula of these because they are nice and creamy and they don't dry out my lips now i'm just going to take out these clips and fix up my hair all right and that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed watching remember to check out inspire 91 and let me know what you think if you try the products i'd love to know how you like them so let me know and leave me some feedback down below make sure to like this video for me subscribe to my channel and tune into the next video i'll see you then bye